Greetings from Gabriela Women's Party to the organizers and participants of the Mindanao Summit on Migration, Environment, Peace, and Development. There is a principle in public speaking which says that a speaker should not apologize at the beginning of a speech. And so, to follow that rule, and since I am not able to be with you physically, I cannot say I'm sorry, I will say I am glad that because of high technology, despite my physical absence, I can still communicate to you and extend my warmest greetings to all. First, congratulations to the organizers. This is a historical assembly of people who are interested in the plight of our overseas Filipino workers. We are aware that our OFWs are now in the news day in and day out because of events happening within and outside our country. Dili malimod nga ang mga OFWs, ang atuang mga migrante, nga dugay na nga gitawag nga mga bagong bayani, sila ang nagapalutaw sa atong ekonomiya. Daghan na silag na tampo sa atuang katilingban o sa ilahang pamilya. O sila karon nag sa mga balita kada adlaw. Ang makasubo, ang mga balita dili tanan maayo. We have been aware of the plight of our overseas Filipino workers that in order to help their families, they have undergone a lot of suffering, a lot of sacrifices, abuses, exploitation, even rape, imprisonment, and death. And yet, they continue to leave our country because opportunities are not available here. It is not purely economic that we are concerned about the plight of our OFWs. The political and sociocultural environment also affect the situation of these heroes and heroines who keep our economy afloat. In 2013 alone, 1.8 million Filipinos left our country to work overseas. That means an average of more than 5,000 Filipinos leaving daily in order to seek greener pastures abroad. As I have said, it is not purely economic because now the political situation outside of the Philippines has affected the work of our OFWs. They have been forced to come home and they have been asked to leave behind what they would consider as their livelihood. They have to come home, but what is waiting for them here? No jobs at all. And that is the reason many still refuse to leave their work abroad. The political has affected our OFWs because the conflicts outside the Philippines have caused all of these difficulties. And that is the dilemma the economic and the political situations. But what about the sociocultural? Because the Filipinos have decided to come home, the countries abroad who say that their health system will collapse if the Filipinos go home say that Filipinos should be placed in a shame campaign. Now that is most unfortunate. Our country men and women working outside, helping others, but who cannot help their own families or their own countrymen and women, have to make a choice. Why does it have to come to this decision? Our friends who are in Saba, documented or undocumented, also face the same dilemma. All over the world, there are millions of Filipinos working because they have no choice because our government has failed to provide the opportunities that they need. I must also cite the situation that despite the big contribution of our OFWs, they did not merit even a line in the latest sauna of President Aquino. 
Was there a mention of what programs and projects he would undertake so that these modern heroes and heroines, as our OFWs are called, can finally be able to come home and seek employment that they need very badly here in our own country. The social cost of migration cannot be ignored. Because of all these factors, we are challenged to get our act together. What should our agencies do? What can we do to solve the problem of illegal recruitment, of exploitation, the trafficking, the sex and human trafficking that our OFWs experience? I hope that in this summit, crucial matters will be taken up. The challenge is not only for government agencies to come up with specific programs and projects to help our OFWs, but also for our NGOs to provide the much needed parallel information and campaigns so that together we can have a better situation for our overseas Filipino workers. It cannot be avoided, it cannot be prevented that the cause of our economic problems, many more Filipinos will still want to leave the Philippines and seek greener pastures outside. Meanwhile, what can we do so that we lessen the difficulties that they experience, we change our laws so that our OFWs can benefit from these laws, and most of all, proactively we come up with actions that will redound to the benefit of our overseas Filipino workers. This is the challenge I leave to the participants of this very important summit. It is to be hoped that your summit will be fruitful, will be productive, and will be most beneficial to the heroes and heroines that we call our OFWs, because without them, where will our economy go? And so on that word, I say good luck, and may you be able to come up with concrete steps so that OFWs will finally, finally be able to say we have been recognized, we are acknowledged as the real heroes and heroines of our country. Good day.